Tonight we're talking about female genital mutilation with the chief, the Naba. It's illegal in Burkina Faso, a harmful practice that causes long-lasting physical and psychological damage, and sometimes death. FGM is the deliberate cutting or removal of a female's external genitalia. I didn't realize it could impact my health and future choices. Listening to the chief, it sparked something in me. I wondered if they knew about FGM and if it had happened to them. After school, I spoke with my friends and told them about the radio show, how FGM is still happening in our community because of tradition. Jan's sister Karin shares information with young people and their communities about FGM, talking at schools and in villages. 90% of girls who are cut are under 10 years old. When they grow up, they face risks to their health, their dreams, their future. I wanted to learn more. Karen suggested I go to a government clinic and speak with a youth health worker. Samira, the health worker, was easy to talk to and I felt safe. They support young people to access information and make decisions about our bodies. She told me about pregnancy complications she's seen from FGM. They also provide affordable family planning services and advice on different and modern types of contraceptives so that girls like me can choose. Leaving the clinic, I decided me and my friends will take action and host an event on FGM with our community. We worked with everyone, young and old, parents, friends, teachers, leaders, boys, men and women. We put up posters, shared information and spread the word. This was the most important thing we had ever done. So many people came. The chief introduced the film about FGM and told us that local government and development partners are working with villages to stop FGM once and for all. It felt amazing to know that my actions could make a difference. We were coming together as a community, fighting for women's and girls' health, for my health. People wanted to know more and do more. This was just the beginning. It felt like we were uniting, standing up for our rights, standing up for a world where she decides. <laughs>